folks, I want to do a super quick orientation for Math 99. Now, this would be applied to any support class. Math 99, which goes with Math 100. Math 111, which goes with Math 112. Or even Math 109, which goes with Math 110. The rules for the support courses, my support courses, are, are pretty much the same. It's to get you the help you need for your regular course. We're not going to do any extra math. No extra math in this course. What we're going to do is get you used to asking questions about your regular course, your regular math course, which is Math 100 possibly in this case. So what I want to do is click on my Math 99 course. And there's only a couple of reasons that you need to click on this course. Um, to check your grades, to make sure you've turned in everything you're supposed to turn in, and to get some forms. So I'm going to click on Modules and to do Discussion Questions. Now notice it has a link for Math 99 course requirements, and there's going to be a video sitting here when I finish this one that's right above it that you're watching now. So let's click on the Math 99 course requirements, okay? And the reason I'm making a video so this is very, very clear for you. But as always, ask questions if you have them. Now, here we go. Math 99, support course for Math 100. Why am I taking this course? First of all, why are you even in this course? Well, it's because that one of a couple of reasons. If you took Math 98 with us, you're required to take Math 99 when you take Math 100. So if you took Math 98, that's exactly why you're in the course. If you almost placed in Math 100 due to however you placed in the course, whether it's an ACT score or you took a placement test with us and you were really close to the Math 100 cutoff but didn't quite make it, then you enroll in both Math 99 and Math 100. So it's great. That means you don't have to go back and take Math 98. It means you almost made it into Math 100 but not quite. So we want to make sure you have all the support you need to get through the course. Now, that's what basically that says. You almost scored in. So what are the requirements? Listen, there are only two requirements for this course. It's not a lot of extra math. The first thing I need you to do is what we call advocate forms. It says one of the reasons students have difficulties in math is because they don't ask questions. I'm going to quit reading this thing. What I want you to do is get in the habit of asking questions when you feel stuck. Ask me. Ask one of the Greenville Math Lab tutors. Ask one of the Andalusia Math Lab tutors. As long as you ask, or ask an instructor, okay? As long as you ask questions of one of the Greenville Math Lab tutors, you can either come to the Greenville Math Lab or do a Canvas conference, okay? Um, or you can go to the Andalusia Math Lab, or you can talk to one of the math instructors in uh, OP at the MacArthur campus, or if there's a math instructor at the Luverne campus, you can go meet with them. But you must schedule a time to meet with a tutor, either virtually or in person, once a week. You have to do this. And you think, I don't have time. I have a full-time job. Listen, we make accommodations for everyone. We have virtual hours at night, often on a Wednesday night. I don't know what the schedule will be this semester. I will send it to you. Don't worry. Uh, we have morning time. We have lunch time. We have afternoon. We have night time. Again, you can come to campus when the math lab is open, or you can do this virtually. The majority of students do this virtually, and you use what's called over here the big blue button. And what's going to happen? Either myself or one of the Greenville Math Lab tutors is going to set up a time every week, several options for you. You don't have to go all the options, just one, for you to log in, either click the big blue button or click on a, a link in an email. You'll receive an email every week of the open times. You click on that link and you just join a Canvas conference. It's just like a Zoom meeting, but it's not through Zoom, it's through Canvas. And you ask a question of your tutor. It can be a homework question. It can be a question about the lecture. It can be something you just straight up don't understand. But that's what you do. You find a topic you don't understand. If you understand everything, that's not acceptable. I mean, I'm, I'm so happy if you understand everything. But listen, you, you come to me or you go to a, to a tutor and say, look, I understand all this material. I don't have any questions. 
I promise you we can present some information to you that will help you out. Even though you feel like you know this, it'll help you out. Okay, we're always ready to broaden your knowledge in mathematics. So what you do is you complete this advocate form. Look, they're due Tuesdays by 11.59 p.m. Every Tuesday. The first one, this summer semester 2022, is due June. I think I even have it in this form. Let me, instead of pulling up my calendar, let's do it right here. Look, by June 18th by 11.59 p.m. Is that doesn't sound right. <laughs> oh, look, it's not updated. Oh, man, don't worry. I'm going to fix that in just a minute. I was pretty positive that I fixed this file. I don't know why it says the old one. It's going to be June. I know I fixed it. 7th. June 7th by 11.59 p.m. is going to be your first advocate form. It's due. This will be updated by the time you see it. Okay? I'll show you how to do an advocate form in just a minute. The next thing, the second requirement for this class is discussion questions. You already have one posted now. You need to answer. It's tell me about yourself. How hard is that? It says, before each test, you will answer the discussion question that is posed in your Canvas course. You are to provide a well-thought-out answer. For the question by the deadline you'll have seven days to answer the question so once i post it you'll have seven days but there's a question now it says tell me about yourself and a little bit more um, what i want to do before each test is maybe find problems that you're confused about topics that you don't understand i may ask you how are you preparing for the test it's just nice to to be able to vent some of that information and to read other people's responses to the questions. And it will have a, just a nice small community of students that are working on Math 100 or whatever support class you're taking. Okay? Notice that discussion questions will count 20% of your grade in this class, and the advocate forms, if I can get scrolled back up there, Okay, we'll count 80% of your grade in this class. So that's your whole grade, is just to find a math instructor, a math tutor at LBW to complete these forms. So let me show you what the form looks like, okay? So if you go back to modules, okay, after this video, I want you to click the start here quiz and answer these questions. I have answered all of these questions just now, but let me click on the advocate form for you. Again, these are due every Tuesday. So classes begin on a Tuesday. The following Tuesday, this form is due. Takes a minute for it to load. Here we go. Now this one's updated. Look, it says the first is due on June 7th. Now you fill out the form Now you can print this out. It's the same form. All the times you turn it in, you will turn in 10 of them in the summertime. If this is a fall or a spring semester, you will turn in 15 or 16 of them. Student, that's your name. Course is Math 100. Week, you can put the dates or you can put the week, week one, week two, week three, but week one is May 31st through June 3rd, okay? The instructor, that's me, Miss Wilson. Not the tutor, the instructor, okay? That's me. Now, it says before you go to the math lab for help, you should write down the concept you need help with. Hey, it could be as simple as a homework question, a video question. It could even be as simple as I know how to do all this. And then the tutor or instructor will find a problem to help you out with. Okay. You can ask for help with a specific problem, but you need to state the concept represented by this problem correctly. The tutor can help you name the concept. If you just have a homework problem and you don't even know what type of problem it is, the tutor can help you with that. Now, notice this thing. This is what people get wrong. It says, after the tutor helps you with your concept, you are to write down the work for a particular problem discussed with the tutor representing the concept. This must be copied below. So that's where the work goes. Don't just show me the problem and the answer. I want to see all the work. I want to see the detailed explanation. I want to see what you and the tutor talked about. Okay? It says, this must be copied below after the visit to the tutor. Add an additional page of work if necessary. The tutor... It might be me, it might be Miss Kathy Pickens, it might be Sandra Hale in Andalusia. 
um, but you must see an LBWCC instructor or tutor to do this. So this tutor.com 24-7, that's not what I'm talking about. They're awesome, but that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, finally, I'm going to shut up. I know I'm, I'm very long-winded. What I want to do is show you what a correct advocate form looks like. This isn't anything fancy. Okay, it says sample of correctly completed advocate form. I clicked on it. I swear I did. It may take just a minute to load. It is just a, a, a copied, handwritten version of a correct form. Sally Saint filled this one out. It was for Math 111. You're in Math 109, possibly. Um, week 1, 823 to 827. This was back in August. Instructor, that's me, Kelly Wilson. The topic was subtracting polynomials. Okay, and Ms. Kathy Pickens helped Sally Saint, and here is Sally Saint's problem. She wrote it right down here. Distribute the negative sign. Look, you distribute the negative sign. That changes all those signs. That negative makes that positive 7x squared a negative 7x squared. That negative makes this plus 2x a minus 2x, and that negative makes this minus 3 a plus 3. And then you add like terms. Notice how I grouped the like terms together. This is a problem you'll do in the very first module in the homework. Then you add like terms to get your final answer. Notice how it's very well explained. So don't give me the problem and the final answer down here. Tell me how you got there, okay? And again, you have to see one of our tutors. Now, everybody is keeping up with who showed up to the conferences, who has come to see them. So I have information from you from the form and from the tutors at LBW because they give me all that information when they see my students. Okay, so if you have any questions about what's required for this course, only two things. Advocate forms once a week. They're due on Tuesdays by 11.59 p.m. And discussion questions. And I should have the first discussion question posted for you already. But after looking at the dates that weren't updated yet, I'm not going to guarantee it. Look, here's discussion number one. It says, tell me about yourself. Feel free to discuss personal details or focus on your college education or both. How do you feel about math? Is that, What about this course in particular? And I'm going to share with you as well. So once you start sending me some discussion responses, I'm going to send you some back and I'm going to discuss myself. And so, easy, right? Easy, great. 80% is advocate forms, 20% is discussion. Really, it's all about building a community where you feel comfortable asking for math help. That's all I need. You just ask for math help. You have a wonderful day, and good luck this semester.